Welcome to another episode of Make Thrift Buy, the show where you guys send me interesting, expensive, or mass-produced clothes from the internet, and I try my best to recreate them. Today's challenge is this Betsy Johnson foam purse, sent to me by Michelin828, which was sold on ModCloth, although it's now out of stock, for $88. So I needed to get three things before I could begin. One was a handbag, and I got this suitable black one from the op shop for $8. Two was an old phone. This one was from my parents' house, so for me, it was free. And the third thing was a black belt. So, let's get started. First, I cut the cord off the phone, and I gave it a clean because it was pretty old and scungy. Then I got some black spray paint, and I covered the entire phone and its cord in paint. While that was drying, I started hacking away at the rest of the phone to try and get the dial off. And I'll admit that this is not the safest or the best way to do this, so um, don't do this at home, kids. But I finally got the dial and all its components off the phone, and then I glued them back together using super glue. And at this point, I realized that I'd totally gotten ahead of myself and forgot to spray paint part of this in black like I was planning. So I covered the numbers with tape to protect them, and then I sprayed the dial with spray paint. And when I removed the tape, I got this. So the Betsy Johnson bag has gold around the edges of the numbers. So I'm going to emulate this using a metallic permanent marker around the edges. And I really liked how it looked using the original numbers from the old dial. So I didn't want to change it up any more than this. So I left the base white and I didn't draw it hard in the middle. So with my dial now done, I need to attach it to my bag somehow. My first thought was to use super glue, seeing as it had worked so well before. So I coat the bottom with super glue and I stick the dial on. Now the test of whether or not that worked is to let gravity do its job. And it worked perfectly. I kind of can't believe that it just worked so well. Now I'm going to have to create some way to keep the phone attached. Well, like on the Betsy handbag, I'm going to attach it to the handle with a piece of black leather. This is where the belt comes into it. First, I cut the belt shorter. The belt had paper or something inside it. It's not very well made, it was kind of weird. So I just folded it over and then I hemmed the edges. Then I sewed half a press stud to both ends and I sewed this strip onto the handle. And this is how it does up. chance that this is going to work so I'm pretty pleased with myself right now so it's not totally like the one from Betsy Johnson and I didn't end up adding any kind of heart or anything like on the Betsy Johnson purse because I thought drawing on a heart would look kind of tacky and I really liked it how it is and for $80 less than the original bag well I'm not complaining I mean it's the same but also different and I kind of like that it's different because no one in the world has a phone purse that looks exactly like this using a phone from your childhood home I'm pretty proud of this my ultimate fantasy for this bag is to get one of those fake retro phones that plug into your mobile to sew it into this bag so that the bag can be used as an actual functioning phone. I got so excited about this idea that I may have gone and bought this. It'll arrive next week, so I'll update you all on how that works out. If you enjoyed this episode or any of my other episodes of Make Thrift Buy Them, please share my videos with your friends or just give me a thumbs up. And if you've got any ideas for what I should do for my next episode of Make Thrift Buy, then please leave me a link in the comments of this video. Um, Happy New Year and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!